All right, YouTube, this is your boy, the virus system again this morning here in Ghana. And we are coming to do the Chiri Chiri Chara Chara here with a new application that we have to install. And this application is called Unlimited um, Educational Firm School and College Information Management System. All what you're seeing right here on my blog is purposely meant for educational purpose for you to download and try them on your fingers. But if you want to go commercial, I urge you to go and buy the softwares from the vendors themselves for you to get more support from them. And then if in other futures you need to be added to the software, I believe their hands are open to help you out. So stay tuned as we go through this installation process of how to install um, unlimited educational firm school and college management system. Um, so I've already extracted it onto um, my www folder. And if you have been following my tutorials, I believe by now you should be able to do that. And I've also created a database here that we'll be using for installation. And then I've tried running um, um, my folder location. And this is where we have landed. So I believe at this point you'll be able to follow up. So now I did a previous tutorial on how to migrate um, database and seed um, database in um, in Laravel. And I hope um, this will help you to, um, to go through this installation. Um, but it is still going to be the same way we are going to do it right here. So if I open um, my public folder, um, it takes me to my login page, asking me to log in. Now, if I try to do installation, saying that, okay, navigate to the installation file here, installation, then it comes back with an error saying that there is no search file that exists. And right now, you we, we actually need to access this software, but the database is not installed so how do we do that we have to migrate the database into um we have to migrate the tables and then we have to migrate the data um the tables data into the tables before we can access this so how do we do that now if you don't want to follow this tutorial i have another tutorial on my channel you can check it out on how to migrate and um seed database in in laravel i believe i still have it here with me let me check my um, videos for the I have it here how to migrate and see Laravel framework database so you can check on this video to um, do the same thing to this application and it will pick but I'll still take you through how to do that right now on this video so let's um, open um, a terminal I'll be using um, Windows PowerShell if you want you can use some um, MS DOS or any um, command prompt that you have with you so now we are now going to navigate to um where our application is and our application is 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 found on um drive c arms ww dot and we have a folder there called what edu school so we are going to navigate to this folder to start our uh, migration of um, our database so i will type wc to close all folders then i'll open the arms folder then i'll open ww dot folder then i'll open my edu school which is um, the folder we'll be working with. So the first thing we need to do is to configure our um, NEV file, which is in our application folder. So let's go back to application folder. Then we come again, um, edit school, we have it here. So I'll open this file, ENV, and we are supposed to um, fix our database here so our database here have created this what edu school edu school and um the username i'll be using for this installation is going to be avanash and the password is going to be pandic 006 for this installation that's the uh, my sql account that i'm using so i'll save this and close my file now i can start migrating um my data so I'll come to uh, my terminal. Then the first thing I need to do is um, to clean my configuration file. So I'm going to type PHP, active sign, then config, and then clean my catchy. And then that is going to check my catchy file and then clean it, and then we are good to go. So it's saying that configuration catchy successful. So now the next thing we are going to do is to migrate the tables. To migrate tables so we type php active sign then migrate then this is going to migrate um 
all the tables and then move them into our database so right now if we go to our database and check look our database is empty see it's empty so we're going to migrate the tables into it so i hit on the enter key and that is going to start migrating all the tables into our database so we're saying that migration tables created successfully so it's now going to create all the tables into our database now when we go to um, our database and then we we'll check on our database file we see that some tables has already been created into it and it's still migrating more tables into our database so we'll wait for it to finish migration then we'll move to um transferring the data or seeding the data into the data tables we have just migrated into our database so let's give it some time when it is done i'll come back all right so it's done um migrating all the tables and these are the tables that we have and now let's check the total number of tables it has migrated um into our database so let's check and see so if i hit on my database let's check the total number of tables it has migrated so these are the total number of tables we have from um, 79 tables that um, it is able to migrate into our database so the next thing now we need to do is to seed um, data into these data tables that's the username and passwords and other things and blah blah into each of the individual tables that we have so i'm going to type php um, artisan db column seed now so we hit on the enter key then it also seed the data into each of these tables so it has started seeding um, the data into the tables so when it is done then we'll come back with um to continue with our tutorial all right so it has finished um seeding um, um our data into the table so the seeding it uh, is able to see the user names user roles um roles to as well user roles and so forth and so on and so on so these are the data is able to seed into um, these individual tables so now we are ready to access our software and then we are good to go so we just close um the terminal by typing exit and then we are done with the terminal then we'll come back to our educational school and then we are expected to log in so how do we locate our username and password to locate the username and password go to your project folder then come to um database then come to seeds when you open seeds come to user table that is where you can find your username and password so our username is our super admin at edufem.com and our password is admin so i'll just pick the email address here then goes back to my software then enter my password which is admin then i'll log into my system and then we are done installing edufem educational system for schools and colleges so it's just easy as you can see it and if you like my tutorials please subscribe to my channel invite others to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned with the virus systems for more tutorials to come on your way